All right, today I'm going to be making a uh, a dump line for my my uh, buffer tank for the pressure washing trailer. I want to be able to dump water as quick as possible, so I'm going to bring a two inch line all the way out to the back of the trailer. But it's an enclosed, so I have to be able to open and close the trailer. So I'm going to have to, you know, come up with something for that. I want to bring that out to there. All right, so we got the dump line all plumbed in. I ran two inch from the buffer tank all the way out to the back. I'll show you right right now. That ball valve, it comes out through here, and underneath the reels, and then I have this. This way I can close the door right now, get to a job. This just hooks up just like that into the bucket. works I wash my hands or fill up buckets and then I'm done with the job this just comes off up Should probably drain it before I take it off but you get the picture and that goes back right here and the door closes so nice little way to have a dump line and an enclosed trailer a lot of guys with the cargo trailers the uh, open trailers they just run it out the back or run it through the floor I didn't want to put a big another hole in the floor so I made this and should work pretty good uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do a video on Testing the three-quarter inch flexilla hose versus the five-eighths flexilla hose and see what one fills the buffer tank faster. So far with the three-quarter inch, it takes about four and a half minutes to get 25 gallons in the tank. <laughs> 